leukemia is formed or starts in the bone marrow that makes all the blood cells of the body. So the bone marrow makes the white blood cells, the red blood cells or the hemoglobin that makes you pink and carry oxygen to the rest of the body and the third blood cell, platelets, which prevents you from getting bleeding or bruising. So when you have a leukemia cell that is misbehaving and formed in the bone marrow, all these normal blood cells are not made properly and they don't function properly. If you have a white blood cell that is affected, the child may have fever, uh, they may be um, having a higher risk for infections, and if your red blood cell is affected, the child may be pale, uh, may have fatigue or tiredness. If the platelet is affected, the child may have bruising or bleeding in the gums, um, which may be the presenting symptoms or complaints that the parents may have. A brain tumor is um, a collection of abnormal cells that uh, happen in the brain in a child. So this is the second most common type of cancer in children. Symptoms and signs are going to depend on the location of the tumor. So some of the common complaints a child may have is early morning uh, vomiting or headache that doesn't disappear if you use mild uh, pain medicines like paracetamol. Maybe they might have subtle eye changes or vision problems that the teachers may pick up. They may have balance or walking problems. They may start to fall frequently or trip over things frequently as compared to before. They may also present with personality changes. Things may be subtle, so you have to pay close attention. So neuroblastoma is one of the most common solid tumors that can occur in young children, especially at ages 5 and below. So it occurs in the nerve cells and the most common site will be in the abdomen or a gland called adrenal gland because adrenal gland is made up of similar functions as nerve cells. This adrenal gland sits on top of the kidneys in our bodies. The neuroblastoma can also occur along the nerve um, which runs from head all the way to the back of the spinal cord. So because we have nerve cells along the nerve cord, you can have neuroblastoma anywhere along that which can be in the head or the back of the neck, all along the nerve of the spinal cord. For infants, you might just see a swelling in the abdomen or swelling in the neck. You may also see some frequent diarrhea, which is a common symptom in very young children who might have a very benign or low-grade neuroblastoma. Um, in older children who may present with very aggressive form of neuroblastoma, they may have swelling or bruises around the eyes because the cancer has spread to the bones around the eyes. They may have a large abdomen because the tumor may be in the abdomen. They may also have fatigue, paleness, tiredness or bruises because the neuroblastoma may have spread to the bone marrow, which is the factory that makes all the different cells. So in summary, if your child is ill or something tells you that something is wrong, please seek medical care early because childhood cancer can be cured.